Hello pilots of the internet and welcome to Foldable Flight. In this video I am teaching you how to make Flare, which is a paper airplane that can either be a dart or a glider, depending on how you want to fold it. As you can see, the two versions of Flare really are quite similar, with the wing size being the primary difference between them. The dart version will fly over 100 feet and is just a bit faster than the glider version, which of course has a better glide ratio. Now they both feature a very cool nose lock that is extremely aerodynamic and holds the plane in a three-dimensional shape. And most planes that feature these kinds of locking mechanisms are pretty hard to fold, but this is actually really a pretty easy plane. Now as I do with my paper airplanes, I have designed templates for each version of this plane so that if you support me on Patreon, you can download and print off a template and fold one that looks like this rather than using a plain sheet of paper. So with all that in mind, let me show you the planes in flight and then I'll teach you how to fold it. All you will need in order to fold flare is an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper or an A4 sheet of paper, and the two versions begin in exactly the same way, so we'll start by folding the right edge to the left edge. Now as always, symmetry is very important, so really try to line your corners up, and that will help you with the rest of your plane. Okay, and now I'll open that up, and I'm going to flip it over so that this is a mountain fold. And now I'm going to fold the top edge down about one inch, and this is just an estimation, so anything close to that's going to be fine. And I'll open that up, and now I'm going to fold this top edge down just about to this crease here, but I'm going to leave the tiniest little gap because I'm going to fold on that existing crease once again, and leaving a small gap there will make that easier and cleaner. Okay, so now you can see I'm folding on that existing crease, and our plane should look like this. I'll now flip it over again, and I'm going to fold this edge here into the center crease. If you fold the arrowhead, you'll notice some striking similarities between this plane and that plane, but this has a few extra steps that make that locking mechanism. So now I'm going to fold the left side to match the right side. And our plane should look like this. And now I'll fold this whole top section down, right, like so basically making a crease from this corner to this corner along that bottom edge of the triangle. And now I fold this point here back up to the top, making sure I land my point on the center crease. and your plane should look like this. Now I will turn it over, and I'm going to fold this edge here into the center. If you're using one of the templates on this step, don't worry, I know this is a large white area covering up a lot of the colored area of the template. Don't stress out, that is exactly what it should look like at this point. For the rest of you, using just regular paper, it should look like this. And now I'm going to take this point right here, and you can see behind that we have a pocket. Basically, I want to bend this point using my forefinger and my thumb. I'm bending that and then sliding it just into that pocket, and then I can allow the paper to just slide in like so. Now I'm going to use my hand and insert it into this whole pocket under these flaps. And I can then begin to pinch these sides 
and slowly collapse the paper into this shape here. And we're still at this point, whether you're folding the dart or the glider, if your plane looks like this, you're in great shape. I'm now going to fold this whole flap over and I want my crease to start right at this point where this band is intersecting the top edge. That's where my crease starts. So I can just kind of pull until that catches. And basically I want to line this edge up here with this corner of the band. And when I do that, I can then crease the full length of this edge. And now I'll flip it over and fold the other side to match. And your plane should look like this. And now this next step is just a little tricky. Basically, I'm folding this up and you'll see there's this reference point right here where this band is catching this edge right here and wrapping around behind it. That's a reference point I want you to pay attention to. Basically, I'm kind of swinging this around an axis and looking for the point where this edge is going to land on that intersection and this corner here is going to land on this edge of the plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the crease and then I'll highlight again exactly how I identified where I wanted to place that crease. So you can see this edge is essentially landing right on that point where this band intersects that edge. So that's reference point one. And then the second one is this corner is landing on that edge of the plane. And once I do that, I'll open that up into this orientation, flip my plane over, and then I'm going to use this as a guide for folding my second one. So I can open this up and just fold this down and land this edge here on that edge there. Okay, and now you can see what I've done is I've made this tab here able to tuck into this pocket. So I'm going to bend this whole thing, use my fingernail on this to lift this pocket upward and I can tuck that in just like so and you can see those layers are locked together now. So now I'll flip this over. I want to reverse this portion here, this crease, like so. And now I can tuck this corner into that pocket. And I've made a little bit of a mess up at the front. There we go. And you can smooth that out. And this is the point where the two versions diverge and there's not a lot left to do here. Basically, if we are folding the dart version, stick with me here. If you want to fold the glider version, skip ahead to the timestamp on the video. So with the dart version, we're going to go ahead and fold our wings. And I'm going to start my wing crease right here, just above the band. And my wing crease goes up through this corner right here all the way to the back edge. So that corner really is the reference point. I'm trying to use my finger right there, my thumb, and bend right over that. And you're really just approximating it. If it doesn't go right through that corner, no harm done. But that's just giving you an idea of where to place your wing crease. And once you fold one side, go ahead and fold the other side to match that first side, whether you got it perfect or not. Now you might think you are done with this plane since we folded the wings, but actually we are not quite done. I wanted to preserve that reference before now doing one more fold on the wings here. You'll find that there is a thick layer right here and it transitions to a thinner portion, a thinner layer here in the back and kind of look for that and you can begin to pull forward and basically you're creasing from that point there to this corner here. So that first reference is that transition between the thick layers and the thin layers. And you'll see when I make the crease, it looks about like this. And then you'll go ahead and just reverse this crease entirely 
to send these layers all the way behind all the other layers. Like so, we're just moving weight forward on the plane as we do this. And I'll flip this over and I'm doing the same thing here. Even if you just pull it, you can kind of see it wants to catch at that point where the layers get thicker. And then I crease all the way into this corner here. And then I reverse that crease. And now I can recrease along my wing creases and this is in fact a finished plane. Now, you may think you want a dihedral angle as you would on many paper airplanes, but with this plane, it actually flies best with a very, very flat wing angle. So try to make it so it's flat all the way across the top edge of the plane. Okay, so now we are ready to fold the glider version of this plane. So I'm back to this point here. And with the glider, we're going to go ahead and make this crease first where I'm pulling these layers forward increasing from this transition from the thick layers to the thin layers all the way into that corner. I will reverse that crease. I'll flip it over, do the same thing over here. I can kind of just pull and see it catches right at that transition into the thick layers and crease all the way into the corner. should look like that and then you just reverse that crease and with that we are now ready to fold the wings so our wing crease again is going to start right above the band at the front of the plane and this time we're just creasing parallel to this bottom edge here so as I make this crease, I want to make sure that this portion of the back edge of my wing lands on this portion. And that's making sure that the crease I make is perpendicular to the back edge of the plane. And once I do one, I can fold my other wing to match. You may find after making your wing crease that you want to brush some slack out of the wings and that's totally fine. Just hold it in this position and do so. And now we are ready just to fold some winglets, some stabilizers. And basically the way I'm going to do that is you can see that this back edge is opening up a little bit. So I'm trying to make this crease parallel to the center, not perpendicular to the back edge. And it's going to be very similar uh, and make your fins, I would say, about this size. This is just a guessing game. Anything close to this is totally fine. But you can see this little short edge here does not quite land on the back edge. And once I fold one, I can go ahead and flip it over and fold my other one to match. And there you go. This is the finished glider version. Again, this plane does not want any dihedral angle, which is odd, I know, but it wants wings that are perfectly flat uh, across the back edge. And it really doesn't require too much adjustment. You may find that you need to add just a tiny bit of up elevator to help it glide, but honestly, you may not find that it needs any of that at all. If you find that it's rolling, and this is true this is true whether you're using the glider or the dart. If you find that this plane is rolling, make your adjustments on the rudder here or your rudder here. Do not make aileron adjustments as you might on other planes. Aileron adjustments really throw off the stability of this plane. So make all your adjustments on the rudders if you find that it's rolling and you can give it just the tiniest amount of up elevator if you find that it needs it. So with that, thank you so much for watching the video, and as always, good luck flying your plane.